Yo, Yankees fans, what is up? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Let's talk about Gary Sanchez right quick. If you have ever visited NYNews.com, you see that Gary Sanchez is on the design. I personally like Gary Sanchez, but the question has come up. A lot of people have been asking me, the Salmon Eddie source, etc. What do you think about Gary Sanchez? Is he becoming a tradable piece for starting pitching? I, for one, think Gary Sanchez is still young. You give him a chance still and see if he can turn it around. But as of now, Gary Sanchez, you remember when he got called up, right? He went on a rampage. His batting average stayed around, what, 280 to 290, something like that. He finished that season off strong. Then the next season he got injured. He started off slow. He got hot in the end. But this season, he's been healthy the full season. So the question now is, is Gary Sanchez a career 200 hitter? Because as of now, he's around, what, 197, which is pretty ridiculous, folks. I mean, the Yankees didn't want to sign Todd Frazier for the simple fact that he hovered around 220, 240, something like that. But Gary Sanchez, that's just crazy. 197. So, is this the real Gary Sanchez that we are seeing? Because you could have a low batting average, right? You could struggle offensively. He hasn't that quite struggled offensively because he has home runs and RBIs. But when you add his defense on top of that, is this the Gary Sanchez we're going to continuously see, which is the scary thing? Because you could, like I said, you could struggle offensively. But if your defense is not there, I mean, that's a red flag right there, folks. And if you follow the Salmonetti source on Twitter, he's been bringing this up as well. I was ignoring it for a couple of weeks. Uh, I saw people complaining about Gary Sanchez allowing past uh, balls, etc. It was a big problem last season and this season as well. So to add him struggling at the plank, I mean, like I said, you have to raise the question, is this the real Gary Sanchez? Is he lazy like people are saying? I don't believe he's lazy. I believe he puts in 100%. But um, if you want to ace or ace caliber pitcher and not supposedly deplete your form system, I could see the angle that people are raising of, let's say, trading away Gary Sanchez. I can see why people are calling into talk radio shows and bringing up uh, trade possibilities saying, hey, we could get DeGrom straight up for uh, Gary Sanchez. And really, I mean, I don't know, man. It's just one of those things where it does make sense. But do you want to trade away a player like Gary Sanchez because he's still young and we know what Gary Sanchez can do? And also, DH is clogged up on the New York Yankees. We can't have. Let's say maybe next year, if the Yankees don't get Harper and Gardner leave somehow, I could see that putting Gary Sanchez in the DH spot. But like I said, it's just clogged up with uh, Stanton on this team. So really, I mean, if a guy hitting 197 has trade value like that, where a team can take him straight up for an ace, and maybe you add a few low-level prospects here and there, I mean, damn, that's just... Uh, I don't know, man. It, it kind of makes sense. You can see the argument from the side that is bringing this topic up of, hey, let's trade Gary Sanchez for some pitching. So that right there raises the question that Gary Sanchez, maybe for the remainder of his career, might not last as a catcher. Maybe that's not his position. Obviously it is, but imagine if he was playing another position or DHing, how better he'll be. Maybe his taking a toll on his body. Who knows? So the Yankees are in a sticky situation right here because Gardner is hot right now, and you can't sit him down and play uh, Stanton in left field and have uh, Gary Sanchez DH. So um, they're in a tough situation. And like I said, I like Gary Sanchez. But really, folks, just think about that. Hitting 197, and we're almost in the middle of June. And he's had a full, healthy season. Unless my brain is fried right now and he went on the DL, which I know he hasn't. 
So, in my opinion, watching Gary Sanchez, he has too much of a high leg kick. The Yankees need to do what the Angels did with uh, Otani, where he had a high leg kick and it was just messing around with timing. I mean, in my opinion, like I said, I think Gary Sanchez's problem is maybe being overworked catching and his timing with that high leg kick. And the Yankees have a great backup catcher in Romine. He played around with his stance and delivery, and he's having really a career year at the plate. So, yeah, if you're the Yankees, you have to figure out Gary Sanchez because that's just ridiculous. His on-base percentage is low. His batting average is low. The only production really is his home runs and RBIs. But he's really swinging at pitches really out of the zone. And I know he faced a ace in the Grom, but really before that, he's been struggling big time against subpar pitchers. So, Yankees fans, leave your comments in the comment section below. I know it sounds ridiculous to trade Gary Sanchez, but I can understand the argument too. Do you see Gary Sanchez turning it around? Or do you like the idea of saying, hey, we could trade Gary Sanchez for an ace straight up without giving away prospects like that? I mean, it's a, a guy hitting 197, folks. I mean, you could understand the argument of the other side. So, Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Remember, share, like, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends, colleagues, family, and I will check you all next time.